Doesn't it piss you off, when you're told to think about your retirement and you are maybe 25 years old? It used to make me wonder why should I care, I have about 50 years till I grow old. Well, I must say, they were right. Think of it as a garden. You plant a flower today, some new ones over the spring and you just water them. They grow and by the end of summer you have a beautiful garden. But if you don't plant anything, you will only have an empty soil, with some grass maybe that is mostly just upsetting. That's kind of how planning for retirement works. Planting, or to be more clear, investing for it can be confusing at times, but there are clear steps to doing it right. Millions of people are stressed at this point, because they did not plant that first flower, that is, they did not invest in their future. We will cover 5 investments that will prove to be properly invested retirement money. Number 1 is to hit the like button, 2 is to subscribe and 3 is to comment below. Getting back to our topic, there are 5 steps to get the most of your retirement investing. Number 1 is getting your full employer 401k match. This is extremely important, so you may as well ask your employer about the maximum match he or she will make. Why, you may ask. Well, if you have a $3,000 monthly salary and your employer matches contributions dollar for dollar up to 5% of your monthly wage, you will basically get $150 free money in your account for the first $150 you save, every month. If you don't take advantage of this, that basically means that you are not accepting, or even worse, throwing away free money. Number 2, Focus Hard on Investing. You don't have to be a pro to do this. There are options to choose from. You can invest in stocks, which means you get a partial ownership in a company. Stocks offer the biggest potential for more profit, but they also present the greatest risk. You also have the option to invest in bonds, which means you are lending money to a company, or even the state through treasury bonds. These usually pay you a fixed rate of interest, are due on a certain date and are backed by the issuer. You can expect a lower return, but these are considered safer and more stable investments. Or you can just stick to cash funds, which are even less risky, but you can't earn much. Number 3, Decide and Stick to It. You should decide how much money you put in each investment type. If you're 20 years old you could be putting about two-thirds of your savings in stocks, but if you are already 60, then one-third might be enough, because stocks are riskier and you're closer to retirement. The other part of your savings should go to other types of investment. Don't just decide, put your money to work. Number 4, Watch your investment fees, so keep expenses low. For example, if you have a $25,000 balance, that earns an average 7% return over the next 35 years. At a half a percent fee you would have $227,000, but at a 1.5% fee, the figure goes down to $163,000. Now that is almost a 65 grand difference. And now, number 5, think target date. There is a popular type of mutual fund due to the fact that it takes a lot of the work out of investing. You just choose the date when you want to retire, 2050, for example. The fund does the rest, rebalancing your asset allocation over time based on your chosen retirement date, or the so-called target date. Thanks for watching and again, don't forget to subscribe, 